Good afternoon, YouTube. I had someone ask me the question the other day of, do I believe in using EMP bags or Faraday cages? And honestly, I do. Um, I used to think that they were gimmicks back in the day um, until electronics have grown more and more. Uh, and I've recently started testing some of these myself and, and trying to understand the technology behind them. And because of that, I do actually carry these more frequently now than I used to. Um, and I'm going to show you guys why. So I just wanted to do a short video on what this is, why I use it, uh, and what you could use it for in your day-to-day -day life. And hopefully this, this video will benefit you guys and give you something that you might not have thought of before. So why have a Faraday bag or an EMP bag? Well, if you're not familiar with what an EMP is, it's an electromagnetic pulse. And an EMP can be generated several ways. The first one is going to be what would be generated as a byproduct from a nuclear device, such as a nuclear device that is detonated in the atmosphere, will cause an electromagnetic pulse to travel through a large area, thus killing all of the, the electronics, bringing down all the cars, anything that has chips inside of it will essentially overload. Um, another method that an EMP can cause havoc for you is with the solar flares. So there's coronal mass injections, which cause these huge, large solar flares to be um, you know, pushed across the galaxy and into the path of our Earth. And when they hit our Earth, they can cause the same ele electromagnetic pulse as a nuclear device would, knocking out electronics, messing with GPS. Um, you know if you're in ham radio, it, sometimes those are good for you. It helps charge the atmosphere, but they can also be bad for you if they're strong enough. So how do we protect ourselves from these EMPs? Well, the way to protect yourself from an EMP is being able to take that electrostatic charge and deflect it away from an electronic device. Um, that can be either using a Faraday cage or a Faraday bag, such as we have here. This is a Faraday bag that I actually got from BattleBox, I believe. Um, and inside this, there's a metal, metal lining um, that is designed to protect you by allowing, not allowing signals in um, and out. All right, so to demonstrate how a Faraday cage or a Faraday bag protects, um, the easiest way is to show how it blocks the incoming signals from coming in and out of the bag or the cage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip on this UV5R that I have here, and it's tuned to a weather channel, 162400. You can see that playing here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the radio, and you're going to see I'm just going to hold the antenna, and I'm going to slide it in there carefully, and you can see we already lost the the signal. Now the bag, the radio is still on. You can see it's in there, but it's not getting that signal now because of it's sitting against the metallic portion. So we're going to seal that up, and right there we have our device in the bag, no signals coming in or out, and it is completely protected from any type of interference. Now if I open the bag back up, and I slide that radio back out, you can see as I start pulling it out, it automatically gets the radio signal back and it starts playing again. So it blocked all of the signals coming in and out, which will protect this device should an EMP attack occur. Now another thing I like to use this for is for my cell phone. So I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max and you can see it fits perfectly inside this bag. So if I were to have some sort of an issue with a EMP coming, I could quickly grab this out of my bag, throw my cell phone in there and it is all protected now. And to show you that it's protected, um, I'm not gonna show the iPad on screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and trigger a find my iPad or to be find my iPhone and it says will play sound when next connected so as you can see the phone is in there you don't hear anything coming out of it I'm gonna go ahead and open it up I'm gonna leave it straight down and let it reconnect There you see, no problem. Just block the signal in and out. So guys, I hope that helps. Uh, just to get a, a little bit of an understanding of, you know, do I use these? Yes. Why do I use them? 
Um, I'll use them either preventively by putting a radio in there and, and having it in a bag so that way it's ready to go should I need one. Uh, or I have these on me and I can use them to throw my phone or other devices into should an EMP occur and we need to protect our devices. Well, guys, I hope this was informative for you guys. Let me know, do you use Faraday cages and bags? We're actually thinking about doing a Pelican case build uh, as a Faraday box that we can put radios and chargers and so forth in for a disaster uh, recovery type of thing like that. So if it's something you're interested in, let us know down in the comments. Let us know how you use these Faraday bags and cages. Do you use them? And what do you think is the most important protection from them? Do you think it's going to be a nuclear disaster or do you think it's going to be something... Uh, more naturally occurring, such as a, a sun flare or so forth. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure. 73. Have a great afternoon.